Okay, so what we got here is we got some damage on the gasket surface, this head gasket surface. This is where my wire wheel got away from me and uh, put some nicks in my block. Um, if you put your gaskets on your head gasket surface, you'll notice that the gaskets aren't machined perfect and there's a lip, there's an area that is not covered by the gasket. This scratch right there, the one we care about the most, is in that area. Um, however, it could give us a path or give the coolant a path to underneath to get underneath the gasket and lift it and maybe go somewhere else. Um, we're not going to remove it, but we're going to blend it down to where we can't really feel it. I can just barely feel it. So what I got here is I got some 400 grit sandpaper and I also have a gray scotch Brite pad that I'm going to polish this up with. And then when we're done, we're going to check it with a straight edge um, and a feeler gauge to make sure that we have not um, gone too far and we don't have a dip. You also, when you're blending this, you actually want to carry your blend out way past your repair area. You don't want a sharp dip. If you get a sharp dip, then you're most likely going to have gasket sealing problems. So here, we're going to swipe this a few times, or for a few minutes, or a few seconds rather, with some 400 grit. And start blending this out. Again, we don't really care about these other scratches that are further out. That's not a sealing surface. That area doesn't really do anything for us as far as keeping the coolant in the block. Um, You'll see the scratches, it may disappear just a little bit, but we're not really trying to get rid of it. We're just trying to blend it down to where we know that the gasket that is on the outside of it is going to be smashed down to the point where it can't bore underneath. Because anything that it does come in contact with the gasket surface um, will be essentially mechanically locked by the um, MLS gasket that goes on these engines. Here, we have our fine gray, light gray scotch Brite pad. I recommend these over the green ones. These have silicone carbide in them rather than um, aluminum oxide. And that matters because aluminum oxide can't be filtered by your oil filter. Silicone carbide can. The particles are large enough. And I'll have a little bit more on that later. But... Getting less and less here. Polish it out. Go again, make some more swipes. Blend this down. Eventually, we'll get this down to the point where we can't really feel it anymore. Usually when you can feel it with your thumbnail or your fingernail, it's, it's at least a foul deep. Um, we're just trying to get underneath that and you can start to see it's starting to go away just a little bit here, which is great. But again, we don't need to remove it. We just need to reduce it. As long as it's not on the edge, then we're fine. Yep. Can't really feel it anymore. It's there, but it, I can't get my fingernail. Eh, maybe a little bit. It's getting harder and harder to get my fingernail in there. And we're trying to kind of concentrate in that area, but again, we want to radius our blend here. We don't want a, a massive dip. You end up with a massive dip, you're not going to have any sealing, which is essentially what this scratch could create, or this nick. So, let's see what we get here. And I, I don't recommend going any heavier than 400 grit. Um, some people may, may want to get stupid and get into the 200, 220, or 180. I don't recommend it. You'll cut too much off too fast. This allows you to go slow. Not have to worry about severely damaging your freaking block to the point where now you have to take it back to the machinist to have them deck it. Which this one wasn't properly decked for MLS head gaskets to be honest with you. There we go. That's about gone. And then, yeah, that's just about right. And then we're going to check it with our straight edge and our feeler gauge. We're going to go right over that area. You just barely get that to grab. Barely. You get out further, really doesn't want to grab. Just barely, that's one and a half thou, which is well within tolerance here. 
I'd say if anything, it's about a foul, maybe. But that's about as far as we're gonna go with that. And we should be fine. Yeah, it barely wants to grab. And that's how you take care of that. But again, it only really works if you radius your blend. 